What's going on, believers? Guys, a couple days ago, we were talking about Apollo Inu on one of my live streams, and then we talked about it on another live stream because Henoch had made an investment in his 1 million to 100 million wallet. And guess what? His 1 million is now 2 million. Guys, he took a million dollars and turned it into 2 million dollars. And one of his big plays was Apollo Inu, and I'm going to tell you why that is a pretty good decision. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. All right, guys, Apollo Inu is trading at three zeros, 10, four, four, seven right now. And that seems to be a bit of a sideways consolidation. And if you are late to the Apollo game, then so am I as well. A lot of people were having a lot of conversation about it in the last couple of days. I laid off because it wasn't my thing. And now I'm getting in and I'm getting in just a little bit late. So we're going to do a quick review here and see what it is. We're going to pull up uh, some information and decide whether or not this is going to be a worthy investment and whether it will be an investment right now or maybe we're going to wait for a dip. So the first thing up is crypto for artists, no strings attached. That is uh, crypto for poets, crypto for writers. So how is it? is the question, and that's the question that I asked myself in the beginning. Apollo Inu is a community-run DAO and token to support and fund creative people to achieve their goals. So my whole idea was, how does this thing work? And I couldn't really understand some of it. So, you know, I waited a couple days, and now I feel like I'm missing, and I have my own FOMO happening with Apollo Inu. So here's what we're covering. A crypto for creatives. There are so many creative people in the world with limited opportunity to break through and be discovered. Like me, uh, duh. Future professional painters, photographers, musicians, and YouTube content creators don't have the free time, money, or access to opportunities to make a career out of their creative passion until now. Introducing the Apollo Inu token, a new cryptocurrency designed to build communities that help aspiring creative and content creators get the resources they need to get their big break. So how does it work? A portion of every purchase, sale, and trade of Apollo goes to a creator prize fund controlled by the Apollo community through a decentralized autonomous organization, which we call a DAO, every week. Anyone who owns Apollo votes for a winning creator who receives the funds they need and spreads the word about Apollo to other deserving creatives, helping to grow the Apollo community of creators, investors, and supporters. So I'm going to jump in and see what happens. So why not? Uh, here we go. We've got the tokenomics, which shows a 3% reflection, a 2% burn, and a 1% creator donation. Now, this in and of itself does not have a marketing concept to it. Uh, it's it, it's grassroots funded. The tax is only 6%. Remember, we're dealing with taxes in some of these that are 15% right now, and that just seems a little bit high. I, and I think most people would agree that some of these taxes are just a, a, a bit heavy. Uh, it's already been audited by Sokin. So uh, you can rest assured that it's been approved. 100% um, perfect score on audit. Uh, maxed reflections. Generous token design. Uh, no pre-sale. Uh, liquidity is locked for six months, then slowly unlocks over six months for a total of one year. Uh, the token mint and burn. Uh, the mint was two trillion and one trillion were burned, um, which it produces a deflationary impact. Obviously, uh, the one trillion is in the dead wallet right now, so it's gaining reflections at, a, at an alarmingly high rate, especially with 3% of it being burned. So um, that's a pretty decent sign. Uh, development team has over seven decades of experience in software development, creative arts, brand development, and marketing. Uh, it's decentralized and mission-minded. So let's find out a little bit here. All right, so let's kick the tires on the team and let's see what we got here. We got Matt Johnson, founder and CEO. He's been a leader in interactive software development for over 30 years. Prior to launching Apollo, he founded East Edge Studios to explore the next wave of experimental computing where he and his team designed and built groundbreaking experiences in the fitness, AR, ML, and gaming spaces. His, clients, uh, his gaming clients included FGTV, E, 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 I don't know what that is. Ebby Family, and The Annoying Orange, which have combined for over 65 million subscribers. And I do know Annoying Orange because I live my life that way. Uh, Zach Clary. Uh, Zach Clary's been in the technology field for over seven years. Prior to Apollo, Zach worked with Matt at East Edge Studio to explore the next wave of experimental computing, where he and his team ran 
the production for the company and was the lead of several high exposure games, fitness apps, and web properties. So it seems like we've got a couple of fully doxxed people who are involved in this program who believe that they can create a better place for the people who are creating content for your enjoyment. So basically, they're supporting me. Moving on. All right, guys, this is step one of covering Apollo Inu. If you guys like the content, you're going to come back again tomorrow. The likes will start going up, and we'll continue to cover Apollo Inu. Uh, I like their style so far. I like what I've seen. Uh, I'm trying to wait for a dip because I don't want to get wrecked by going in at the wrong time. So uh, I'm sitting here waiting. Uh, Henoch, help me out, man. It's dip time. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to wait for a little bit of a dip. Uh, I think... That when I was checking this, around 88 seemed to be like a decent entry point. And when we were doing the, uh, we, they, it was channeling uh, to the downside when we were looking at this earlier. So I thought maybe I could get in, uh, maybe, where is it right here? Around 77 or something like that. But it does not seem to be the case. Seems to be moving back to the upside, uh, which is going to make it difficult to gain a good entry point. So uh, that being the case, um, I'm going to let you know, but I'm going to be making a jump into this over the next couple of days, and then we will see where it takes. And by the way, for those of you who are interested, this is going to be a long-term hodl. This is not going to be one of my short-term plays. Uh, so just so we have clear understanding, uh, I'm going to set it and forget it on this one, and then we're going to see where it is in a year or two. Uh, this is not financial advice. Take your profits on the way up. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And remember, I am always Right. I'm looking for the good life, good life. Sitting on top of the world, I wanna be shy.